Hi guys, Tony Lockhart here, and we're gonna look at some results from a previous glaze firing. Come on, let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look. I have two oxide stains from Laguna Clay Company. One is the MS-103. Turns out to be a nice blue, it's called Nile Blue. And then I've got this other one called the Moroccan Sand Oriental Rust. All of these used are used on low fire glazes and low fire clays. I fired a cone five. So what I wanna do is to show you a couple of the results that I had and I actually took some pictures or I took some video captures prior to firing these ways. I'm using Cone 5 Laguna clays and some of the Moroccan sand glazes. So this glaze is a satin white. So I started by having a piece of bisqueware and I took some of this Nile blue um, stain and what I did is I used a sponge brush to apply vertical strokes and in some areas it really pulled and it made like a thick collection and you'll see that when I cut to the other videos. I also use the side of the sponge brush when using the oriental rust and in some areas you can see it's very faint. I was barely, I'm barely able to see any of the iron show through some of the glaze. What I went and did is after applying the blue, I went back with the oriental rust and I included a vertical stripe. Some of these areas really showed up well. It's very interesting to see how dark that is. I did a pretty consistent dip when I used the glaze, so I'm not entirely convinced that one side of the glaze is thicker than the other. Over here, I did two vertical um, stripes with the sponge brush. So here's an example of one of the brushes that I used. Just kind of dipped it in here and then did a couple vertical uh, swipes or brush strokes. Okay, and I also did a handful of different marks on the inside. So maybe I can cut away later during the edit and try to show you that. Here's another cup. I purposefully left the throwing marks in there so you could see some of the cast shadow because I wanted to see like what would it look like when I did apply this stain. Um, when I applied the the blue instead of going you know flat against the side of the cup I actually turned the side of the sponge brush and applied in this direction so that way it it went on a little bit thicker and you know it makes sense to me because you can see there's a lot more luminosity with the color. It's just so much more vibrant versus the, the first cup that I showed you. Still looks like I'm having some of the same issues with some of the leaves that appear and uh, appear and then some of the leaves that disappear. So I definitely need to figure that out. I think with this cup, I also put like a stripe of the oriental rust on top, but can't really see that. There are little hints or indications of that on the inside, on the inside of the rim and on the exterior. So it'll be interesting to try to see if I can emulate this. And I rather, I like the way that this looks, um, even though a lot of the feedback that I've gotten on my work is that the, the shiny glossy ones are better, but I kind of like these matte ones. I think they look pretty, pretty. Okay, so here's the last one. What I tried to do was an expressive, expressive brush stroke with the oriental rust, just to see like what would happen if I pulled a heavier brush stroke right there, and then I did a quick swipe. So it's kind of interesting to see what that looks like. Um, did I just do one? Yeah, it looks like I just did one on this side, and then I tried to do some kind of like a floral pattern or some kind of a leaf pattern. Again, thick applications of the Nile Blue. And it's interesting to see what happens right there when you um, cover the Nile Blue with the Oriental Rust and the other way around. So still pretty, pretty nice, um, but not 100% where I want it to be. Uh, given that I really love to draw and illustrate, I think it'd be nice for me to be able to control this and get some other types of images with more clarity onto the surface. And real quick, don't. what I'd like to do is just to kind of open up these containers so you can see what it looks like when you look at this stain. Kind of looks like a, like a jelly, little gelatinous material. And the Nile Blue looks purple in appearance. 
and the oriental rust looks very bright red okay very wiggly and then lastly I've got a piece of bisqueware that I accidentally dropped so what I did was I washed it off I washed off all the glaze I dropped it into the glaze bucket so you can see there's definitely some discoloration and I think this lighter portion is the actual glaze that still absorbed into the wear but at any rate what I'm gonna do is just apply some of this right now because I was unable to find any any YouTube videos with some of this Laguna stain but it'd be interesting to see what this looks like okay so I'm gonna do one quick application and keep in mind that this has been this has been washed it's been dried for a couple days so I got a pretty dry bisque surface relatively clean except for like my fingerprints that I'm putting on top of it now so I got three stripes right there I don't know if the camera can pick it up but you know when I when I judge based on how I'm looking at it it's really absorbed into the wear this portion right here on the left side is still pretty wet it's reflecting a lot of light and there's definitely a lot of moisture right here okay Maybe I'm gonna just put a couple zigzags This cup's gonna be a throwaway because I'm not 100% happy with the way the shape is. So I don't mind, I'm gonna use it as another experiment. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go really, really thickly. Or th I'll, I'll put a thick application of the, the stain onto the surface just to see what happens. So I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up but there's definitely like a, a height. There's a good one or two millimeter, you know, height right there. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of that red on top. In fact, what I'm gonna try to do is put that, put that top layer of red oriental rust at the top and then I'm going to go a little bit thicker, or I might just do two applications, depending on how it absorbs. Because again, what I'd like to do, or what I'd like to happen, is to do the application of this, this stain, and then whatever glaze I put on top of it, I'm hoping it'll kind of brown it up a bit and kind of cool it down, even though it's such a nice warm red. So we'll see what happens. And then finally, um, I'm going to just put a dot or a little stripe in between those purple lines. And I'll do one last floral pattern. And let's just see what happens. So I'll probably glaze this in about a month. Uh, my next firing is scheduled sometime in early November. So at any rate, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.